Uh, hello everyone. Uh, this uh, session, this video, I will explain to you how to generate uh, random numbers. Um, generally, random numbers are generated uh, to uh, perform what is called as uh, simulation experiments in various models that we build. So here my objective is to show you how to generate some hundred random numbers in this yellow shaded cells. Uh, those random numbers that we are generating should be following a normal distribution that have a mean of around 34,540 and standard deviation of around 8,932. This is our objective, all right? So let me generate the random numbers like this. So for that, you need to have uh, the package called data analysis. So before I go in there, there is also another way to generate random numbers. Uh, let me first explain that to you and then I will go to data analysis tool. So you can perform like this, you know, there is this function called rand, okay? There's a function called rand. You just open and close. That is rand, open bracket, close bracket, and enter, okay? This generates a random number. In fact, I mean, if I increase the decimal, you will see, okay? And uh, double click this. So you see it generated 100 random numbers between the, the value zero to one. Okay, remember this is not what I want to perform, but I just wanted to introduce you to the, the, the function called rand. Okay, how do you do it? Rand, open bracket, close bracket. All right, fine. This is one way of performing the random number generation. The second way is there is also another function called rand between. Okay, rand between. So here you can give a lower value and a higher value and the, you know, Excel will generate random numbers within those numbers. Let's say, for example, I want to generate 100 random numbers between 50 to 100. That is the number 50 to number 100. So 50 to 100. So I click this. So see, it has generated a random number of 75. If I copy this, Every time the function is running, it is generating a number, but ensure it is ensuring that there is a minimum value of 50, maximum value of 100. Okay, that is called rand between function. All right. Yeah, how do you type this rand between 50 to 100? Okay, of course, that 50 to 100 is a number that you will have to give later. All right. So, but again, both of these functions are not helping us to generate a set of random numbers whose which will follow a normal distribution with a certain mean and a standard deviation. So therefore, I would like to uh, use the data analysis tool pack. Okay. Now, data analysis tool, tool pack is available for statistic, performing statistical operations. So ideally, it should be there in the data tab. At the end, there is an analyze section. Their data analysis will be there. If it is already not there, you'll have to activate that. You'll have to activate that. So how do you do that? You can go to file options, add-ins, okay? See, for me, it is active now, okay? So otherwise it will be available here. Click on that, okay, and tick this analysis tool pack, okay, all right? Then it will appear. In case if it does not appear even then, close the Excel file and reopen it, it will work, okay? So data analysis tool pack. If you click on that, yeah, you can see there are a lot of functionalities that you can perform and most of them are statistics related. Like you can perform ANOVA test, correlation matrix, covariance matrix, descriptive statistics, etc. Uh, but here our purpose is to generate random numbers, right? Random number generation, click OK. So it is asking for number of variables. How many number of variables do I need? I need only one column, right? One column, one variable. So I need one variable. How many random numbers are required? I am saying 100. Uh, you can generate up to 10,000 random numbers, by the way, okay? And you might have studied in your statistics you know, course that there are a lot of different distribute and distribution types for any data, right? Here we have decided that we'll go with a normal distrib normally normal distribution following data set. So with a mean of 34,540 and the standard deviation of 8,932. Uh, output range, I want the output range here. Okay, I'm selecting this cell and click OK. So note that it has generated 100 random numbers. Okay, now if you notice this 100 numbers, the average of this is around 35,725. Can you see this here? Okay, which is almost close to the mean value that we decided. And our standard deviation also will be close to this. I hope you followed this. Of course, formatting may be required for that because, yeah. Okay, you can remove the decimals. So we have the 100 random numbers now. 
All right. So you might have noticed one more thing there. I'm again going back to data, data analysis, random number generation. So you might have noticed here, there is something called random seed. Okay. What is this random seed? See, a uh, random value when I generated here, 100 random numbers with a mean and a standard deviation, there are like infinite number of combinations possible, right? So when I generated random values, it is coming. So I'm sure if you are sitting and watching this video and you are also generating this, you will get a different set of random numbers, okay? So if we both want to have the same random numbers, I can enter some random number here. Again, another random number, more like a password. Say, for example, I use a password of, let's say, 58. Just a randomly, I'm writing 58. It could be any number. So you also enter the same 58 and run the function, okay? Uh, yeah, you will also get the same set of random numbers. So random seed is to get same random number, okay? Same random number in two, in two different times that we are generating or in two different systems, in two different files when we are generating, we want to get that, all right? So this was basically a random number generation. Using this, we can perform a lot of uh, simulative uh, experiments, all right? So that was it for now. Uh, uh, I'm, uploading these uh, files in the description. So please access it and practice. And thank you for watching.